Yoo-hoo! Just a few more days to go for the equinox. <laughs> it's called Equinox, little kitty. Hey, friends, in today's episode, let us explore this cosmic phenomenon that occurs twice a year and answer an interesting question. What is an equinox? Zoom in! We generally think that the days are longer than nights in summer and shorter in winter. However, this is not entirely true during an astronomical event called the equinox. And what is that? Well, an equinox is a point in the year when daytime and nighttime are of equal lengths, which is 12 hours each. This situation occurs twice a year, usually on March 20th and September 22nd, when the sun is exactly above the Earth's equator, an imaginary line around the middle of a planet or other celestial body. This causes the terminator or twilight zone, a moving line that divides the daylit side and the dark night side of a planetary body to pass through the Earth's north and south poles. This unique angle causes all the areas of Earth or other planets to experience almost the same amount of daylight and darkness twice every year. There are two types of equinoxes that occur. In the Northern Hemisphere, the March equinox is called the Vernal Equinox, while in September it is called the Autumnal Equinox. In the Southern Hemisphere, the names are the opposite because the seasons are switched. For example, Autumn and the Autumnal Equinox occur in the Southern Hemisphere in March, when it is spring in the Northern Hemisphere. But the vital question is, what is the significance of this event? Well, like the solstices, equinoxes are historical markers of seasonal change. The March equinox unofficially marks the spring season and is traditionally perceived as a rebirth and renewal time. For this reason, many cultures have celebrated the March equinox as the first day of the new year. Comparatively, the September equinox marks fewer events, generally associated with autumnal harvest festivals. Chushio, the huge Korean holiday around the September equinox, is a time for family gatherings and gift giving. In addition to traditional autumn foods such as apples and nuts, one of the most popular Choose Your Gifts are box sets of Spam, a favorite food of the Koreans. And it's not just limited to festivals, my dear friends. It is said that the ancient Mayan architects may have honored the equinoxes in the design of the enormous stone pyramid named El Castillo at Chichen Itza, Mexico. Every equinox, the light of the sun casts shadows down the pyramid steps, making it look like a slithering serpent. El Castillo is a temple honoring the serpent god Kukulkan. But nobody knows if it was planned or just a happy accident. Trivia time! Did you know the Terminator doesn't perfectly divide the planet into dark and light? Yes, the Earth's atmosphere bends sunlight by 37 miles, which equals half a degree. That means one half of the planet is still a little more lit than the other, even on an equinox. And another interesting thing about equinoxes is that it's just not limited to Earth. Yes, every planet in our solar system experiences it. In 2009, the Cassini probe in orbit around Saturn captured an equinox on the ringed planet. As on Earth, 
equinoxes occur every half year on Saturn. But that equals 15 years on Earth, making Cassini's photo session a unique event. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind.